Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. It has been an interesting week so far in the Indian aviation sector. We have already reported regarding the first flight of ALH Mark III which segmented main rotor blades and main rotor head in pre-configuration which is the future NUH version. Yesterday, Swift, the scaled down version of Ghatak UCAV took its first flight and now it has been confirmed that Tejas Mark 1A has already rode in the sky. Whenever we report regarding the export of Tejas, either to Malaysia or Egypt or Argentina, many questions are raised on fulfilling the present order of Tejas and its induction into Indian Air Force. This section of video is especially for them who have these types of doubts or concerns. Tejas has two major orders from Indian Air Force to fulfill. The first one is for 40 Tejas Mark 1, which includes 32 single seat variant and 8 trainer aircraft. The second order is for 83 Tejas Mark 1A, which includes 73 single seater variant and 10 trainer aircrafts. For the first order of Tejas Mark 1, all 32 Tejas single seaters have been produced by HL and 25 Tejas that includes 16 IOC standard and 9 FOC standard have entered into service with Indian Air Force. Now HL is working on trainer version which includes 8 from the first order and 10 from second order. All trainer versions are going to be same and will be of FOC standard. Now talking about this Mark 1A development, it has been confirmed that the fighter jet has already completed its first flight. As per the contractual obligation, HL need to deliver first 3 aircraft in 2024 and 16 aircraft per year for subsequent 5 years. Indian Air Force has allotted HL a TS Mark 1 numbered SP-25 or series production aircraft number 25 for integrating the modification required for TS Mark 1A which means both versions will be using same airframe. Tejas Mark 1A will be the upgraded version of the final operational clearance configuration of MK1 with 80% of detailed components being the same. Many LRUs or line replaceable units will be repositioned and new LRUs are to be included as well, keeping in mind the maintainability easiness for the aircraft. Indian Air Force wants airframe panels that can be replaced without taking too much time and these will be supplied to Indian Air Force with quick release fasteners. The Mark 1 version has also been equipped with AEAC radar, interrogator and electronic warfare suite. The major improvements in this Mark 1A includes AEAC radar and electronic warfare suite that includes the jammer, the combined integrator and transponder and IFF plus system and a digital map generator. HL is also integrating the advanced short-range air drill missile ASRAM with a range of 60 to 70 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.